Tesla managed to turn the automobile industry on its head and showed that it can be a real threat to all legacy car makers. The car company quickly climbed to the ranks of Ferraris, Lamborghinis, and Bugattis, making it an existential threat to all other companies. Many others like Ford and General Motors have attempted electric cars, even though they represent a small share of global sales. Still, these brands are seeking to rival Tesla and have made ambitious investments toward the project. By 2022, Ford intends to spend a whopping $11 billion towards developing three dozen new all-electric and hybrid models. Despite everything, Tesla continues to dominate the electric vehicle market and its market capitalization is above $90 billion, which is $3 billion more than Ford and GM combined. Having conquered the world of cars, it now seems Elon Musk is shifting his sights to the aircraft industry. Welcome back to our channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video. A Tesla flying machine has become the stuff of legend. Several companies are already working on zero emission planes, but most people are looking forward to Tesla's results. Probably the first mention of this by Elon Musk himself was in his online cameo in Iron Man 2 when he jokingly said, got an idea for an electric jet. It was 2010, two years before that in 2008, Musk mentioned in an interview that an electric jet would be feasible if batteries could be improved upon. We don't know how he's making the time to work on a plane given his work with the Mars mission, but he has continued to drop hints that he's given the idea serious thought. In 2012, he said he had been working on a design for the past four years and then dropped even more hints in 2014 and 2015. In 2016, he described it as a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, one that wouldn't even even need a runway. Finally, in 2017, nine years after his first mention of the topic, he said it's not impossible that he'd make an electric plane. London-based industrial designer Tom Abbott Davies released some incredible concept art of how a Tesla jet would look. It has three ducted fans that it uses to fly vertically with titanium turbine blades. It's a one-passenger craft, great for a luxurious and quiet flight. Fans get even more excited when Musk himself responded to the tweet with a, looks pretty cool. Abbott Davies had actually started work on this in 2014 and worked on it for a good three years. He graduated from Loughborough University in 2019 and applied to Tesla for an internship. Although Musk praised his concept art, Abbott Davies was unsuccessful in getting the internship. So, why isn't it a reality yet? Of course, Tesla fans are impatient for it, but Musk claims the battery tech just isn't there yet. During his September 2018 appearance on the Joe Rogan Experience, he explained how electric car batteries offer an energy density of 250 watt-hours per kilogram. He explained that a jet would need at least 500 watt-hours per kilogram to take off. While he certainly seems excited about the notion, he also said Tesla wants to work on solar energy, stationary storage of energy, and electric cars before moving on to supersonic jets. But we needn't lose hope yet. Tesla recently bought a battery manufacturing firm called Maxwell Technologies for $218 million, and that might be the answer. At a conference in 2019, Maxwell Tech claimed it could offer batteries with 300 watt-hours per kilogram and had a concept in mind to make a 500 watt-hour hour possible. So clearly Musk is working towards it, even if he hasn't given us a proper confirmation. It's unclear whether Tesla would work with Maxwell Tech to build the batteries and supply them to aviation companies or actually build the jet themselves. In a tweet on August 2020, Musk said that Tesla could mass produce a battery with an energy density of 400 watt hours per kg within three to four years. That's more than a 50% increase over what Tesla currently manufactures for its cars. He also mentioned that the batteries would have a high cycle life, meaning the cells could be charged and discharged many times over without affecting performance and be useful for several trips. But there is, of course, a question of speed. With regular planes, the higher you go, the less efficient the plane becomes. But with electric planes, it would run more efficiently the higher it gets. If that's the case, it will allow for speeds faster than you can imagine. If the concept art is any indication, it will be for one or two passengers at a time, so we won't have to worry about a crying baby in the flight, unless it's your own, that is. The kind of battery Elon Musk is talking about should also be able to last for decades, which keeps in line with Tesla's ideals of renewable energy. Suffice it to say, it would be a real milestone for Tesla. As far as we can tell, small-scale operations are already underway, with the first commercial test flight of an electric plane taking place in 2019 in Canada. Harbor Air flew an electric seaplane for 15 minutes over the Fraser River, a significant first step towards electrifying more 
planes and his fleet of 40 aircraft. Elon Musk is probably hesitant to reveal all his plans because he doesn't want to shift focus away from Tesla's effort towards cars and clean energy. We can see why, because aviation only accounted for 2.4% of global carbon dioxide emissions in 2018, but transport accounted for 24%, of which 72 came from roads. Getting cars running on fossil fuels off the road is currently Tesla's number one focus. With Tesla's recent battery day encompassing all forms of global energy use, the firm seems to have much grander goals too. Tesla's battery day was on the 22nd of September of this year, held shortly after the annual stockholders meeting, and it was a showcase for Musk to show off his company's latest battery advancements. There were new plans to develop a million-mile battery that could last an electric car's entire lifetime. In addition to that, there were outlines for a plan to reduce the cost of battery cells and packs to $100 per kilowatt hour. At that point, experts believe electric cars will become comparable in price to combustion engine vehicles. Tesla is already leading in lithium-ion batteries, but Musk announced that the company would start mining its own lithium too. Some critics have said that car companies shouldn't try to go into mining because it's a radically different industry, but it was too late. Tesla had already secured the rights to a 10,000-acre lithium clay deposit in Nevada, and mining their own lithium will reduce production costs by 33%. This is quite a big decision to make, and it could be an indicator that Tesla has plans for building something more than just electric cars. In fact, Tesla battery researchers are pointing to enabling electric planes with new battery cells and have even published a research paper about their progress. It seems like the new and improved energy densities will allow electrified urban aviation, which likely refers to electric air taxis that Uber is working on. And the way Tesla continues to innovate on their technology and offer newer, better products every year explain why their stock prices continue to skyrocket. If Elon Musk's track record with Tesla is any indication, the aviation industry better watch out. Should he figure out how to make a plane with the same efficiency as his cars, we'll be traveling from LA to London in hyperspeed. It'll be nice to see a joint venture of Tesla and SpaceX, too. Unfortunately, it looks like we'll have to wait a while since the Mars mission is taking up more of his time. When do you think we'll have a Tesla plane? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch more videos all about luxury on the King Luxury channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.